Now we have more on the prostate cancer diagnosis for former President Biden. He has an aggressive form of the disease. We're going to bring in our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula. A Gleason score 9 out of 10, and we know that it is also unfortunately spread to his bones. So what does all this mean? Exactly. Well, when you have any type of cancer, we want to know how likely is it to grow and spread. With prostate cancer, we use something called a Gleason score. That means doctors take a biopsy of the prostate. They look at it under the microscope. They take two of the largest samples and they look at the cells. If the cells are more normal, they get a number one. If they're more abnormal, number five. We add up the numbers from those two samples. So let's say one sample is a three and one sample is a four. The Gleason score would be a seven, right? In general, the Gleason score ranges from six to to 10, with 10 obviously being the worst or most aggressive, his score was a 9. So definitely tells us a more aggressive cancer, more challenging prognosis, more likely to spread. And as you said, we heard it did in fact spread to the bones. We know that that is a place where prostate cancer usually spreads. That means it is a stage 4B. Usually that means it is not curable, it is treatable. In general, we think about prostate cancer as being slow growing and usually having a good 5-year survival, 99%. When it is spread to distant sites, then that 5 your survival drops to about 37 percent. And the, the statement released by the former president's office, it notes that he's considering hormone treatment. So how does that work and what does that tell you? So when we talk about hormones for this, we're talking about androgen deprivation therapy. That means depriving the body of testosterone or androgens, which we know is a fuel yeah. for prostate cancer cells. So by either blocking the production of testosterone or the ability of testosterone to reach the cells, you're hopefully slowing the growth. So we know that with prostate cancer of this stage, we usually use hormone therapy to basically improve quality of life, maybe give somebody more years. Um, of course, hormone therapy also comes with its own side effects. Former president's 82. Mm. Actually, yeah, so age obviously factors into everything. We see prostate cancer usually rise with increase in age. It's the average age of diagnosis is 68. But certainly when you look at factoring and what are we going to treat this person with, you look at age, their health status, their quality of life that they want, their life expectancy, all of that factors into the treatment plan. Well, we are all wishing him the best. Yes, absolutely. Without a doubt. All right, Doc, thank you so much for that.